Hey guys, how you doing? Chris Rod coming back another day, another dollar, another video. Hey, listen. So yesterday we made a video about August lawn care and I told you guys I was going to be putting down some fertilizer, which I did, but I went ahead and hold, held off for the, uh, the iron application uh, to fix this lime green looking lawn area back here. And I wanted to hold off because I wanted to give you guys a better look at the lime green color. I looked at the video yesterday and it just really didn't, wasn't too obvious. But now with the shade that I've got today, the little bit of light, you can definitely see some of that lime green color inside here. So let's get a little close up, see how discolored that is. So that's what we're gonna be addressing today. We're gonna be talking about how to make your lawn greener, or if you've already got a really dark green lawn, like this puppy back here, and you're gonna go for that even darker green color, or um, you wanna give it that that pop of that blue green hue, if you will. <laughs> that's really next level lawn care. Um, we're gonna be talking about chelated iron, okay? That's a liquid iron that you can get from Amazon or uh, domyown.com. Chelated iron is what we're targeting, okay? That's what we're gonna be applying today. Now, uh, you can also do iron granular applications. And if you're utilizing um, some of the well-known fertilizers out there, some of those fertilizers may already contain iron inside of them on the granular level. So throughout the season, while you're doing your fertility program, if you're utilizing a, a product that's got iron in it, you may not have to do this part of the lawn care applications that I'm going to be doing today. You can totally skip it. But maybe you are and you want a darker green, go ahead and get yourself some chelated iron, okay? Now, um, let's talk about why you'd want to do this, okay? In my particular case, as you guys can see, I've got some lime green areas back here and I want to address those issues, okay? I, if you've been following the channel, oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a follow, thumbs up. Um, boost that YouTube algorithm, guys, please. <laughs> and uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't use a fertilizer that contains iron, okay? Throughout the process of uh, lowering my pH, I'm in the process of using ammonium sulfate, okay? That particular fertilizer is pure ammonium sulfate. It's nitrogen. It's a 2100 product uh, and it contains zero iron. So therefore, I could literally have an iron deficiency inside my lawn. That's why you would want to use a chelated iron if you haven't been using iron throughout the season. So therefore, I'm going to be using a liquid chelated iron uh, today just to kind of correct these lime green issues, okay? That would be a why you would want to use this product. Now, what about when? When would you want to use a chelated liquid iron on top of your fertility program that you've already might be using iron inside of it on a granular level? Well, when you can do it any time of the season. If you're preparing for a family event, you want a nice dark green lawn, or you got a holiday coming up, you got the family coming over barbecuing, or maybe it's Halloween and you've got a front lawn and you want to show the entire neighborhood who's got the darkest, greenest lawn on the block, this would be a, a win to use it, okay? Now, how often can you use it? Well, if you follow your label uh, rates, you can literally use this product or you can apply additional iron every 30 days. You can really use it, it's really up to you. Now, I am a vet. Sorry about that. I am an advocate of not applying product if you don't need to apply it. In my particular case, I need to apply it. Therefore, we're gonna be doing that application. So what is chelated iron, okay? Chelated iron is simply uh, a product and its chelated form is the most beneficial form to use inside of a lawn. Why? Because when it's processed, it's used, it's, it's got added non-metallic ions, okay? that prevent it uh, from oxidizing inside the soil or it prevents it from combining. It creates this protective barrier around that particular iron molecule from mixing with the iron in your soil and the oxygen in your soil causing rust. You gotta use a chelated iron, okay? Because the rust is the issue. If you use a non-chelated, okay, the process is totally different and it can create an abundance, okay, or become iron tox. You can create this iron toxicity environment um, inside the soil system 
and you get these this rusting or if you use too much iron meaning you over apply it uh, the iron ions start to coagulate and next thing you know you've got this clumping issue the plant can't uptake the actual micronutrient and it's just sitting in your soil causing this iron toxicity okay that's why you need to use the, the chelated iron okay and did you actually know here's a fun fact chelated iron chelated comes from the latin word chile which means lobster's claw okay or crab's claw and what happens is if you can picture a crab or a lobster what happens is those organic ions inside the soil reach out and grab this chelated iron molecule okay and it brings it into the root system or the plant and during that whole photosynthesis process it's utilized the the nutrient is utilized thus making the lawn a darker greener color therefore use your chelated irons okay the reason why you may be experiencing a little bit of iron deficiency is really it's a handful of ways but the two primary ways one is the nutrients actually locked up inside the soil system okay you've got a high ph okay you're too alkaline and i've said this many times before and it can occur when you're too acidic as well but primarily when you're too alkaline the plant is unable to uptake that iron nutrient it, the, the ion is actually locked up inside of the soil system and the plant can't uptake the nutrient ph is too high my ph is too high which is why I, I experienced this lime green business this side of the area or this side of the yard more so than my my bigger portion back here ph is too high that's why i use ammonium sulfate that's also why i add elemental sulfur to bring down my ph once your soil system starts to get above that six and a half that seven range you can have issues like that and obviously i have issues like that but the second primary reason why you may be experiencing a little iron deficiency in my particular case and in your particular case uh, it, it's due to leaching and i told you yesterday for some reason this portion of the yard this happens every single year this time of the year and the reason why that is is because we are in our monsoon season we get these large amounts of rain all at once and what happens is that water just pushes down all the nutrients in the soil causing a leaching effect and driving the the iron ions that micronutrient through the soil and it's no longer readily available to the plant where the roots are where it can be uptaken by the actual plant okay leaching is the second reason that is why i've got this iron deficiency issue that is right why we're doing this iron application today Let's talk about application rates. It's very easy. I'm gonna tell you to follow the application rates on the product you buy. I use the Southern Ag um, chelated iron product. You can get that from Amazon. And I've already got it mixed in in my backpack sprayer there, okay? Here's the catch. It stains, okay? I've had product, granular uh, fertilizers I've used that have iron in them and the, the granulars, if I leave them on my pool deck <laughs> or any of the concrete areas or if some of those granulars get inside on the stairs you can actually see them staining it will stain the material orange um, so in the liquid form make sure that when you're done using whatever pump sprayer you use give it a good rinse um, I actually use a, a solution a, a bottle it's actually a tank cleaner and I go ahead and cycle the tank cleaner through my backpack sprayer because I'm not dedicating what you can do you can dedicate one iron pump sprayer if you want in the, the cases of using uh, these iron applications but if not just filter in some tank cleaner cycle that through rinse it out really good um, if you do get it on your pool deck or your driveways or your sidewalks just hose it down after you're done doing your application get the water hose out and give that a good soaking or if you need to brush it off brush it off but today we're going to be doing that chelated iron application rates okay follow the label rates in this particular case it's recommended 16 ounces of chelated iron per 1000 square feet do the math if you need if you got more square footage but i've got 16 ounces inside of my pump sprayer i'm also doing an additional fungicide application with um propiconazole because i'm mixing up my applications of fertilizer not fertilizer fungicide my last application was was with a zoxystrobin 
So I've also got some propiconazole liquid form inside of my backpack sprayer. And I'm also doing an additional application. Remember, we're fixing some issues inside of the soil. Remember I told you I might have some issues with some sod worms along the wall there. I had them last year. I went ahead and tested to see, I did a little pull test. It does lift back. So we're gonna go ahead and keep staying safe and protecting my root systems. So I've added some um, immediate cloprid to my liquid solution as well today. And you can do that, why? Because when you do your application of um, iron, the liquid iron, you're gonna leave it on the lawn. You're gonna leave it on the lawn uh, or the grass blade, the leaf tissue for at least one hour. After that one hour, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and cycle your irrigation or if you've got some thunder clouds coming through, <laughs> let it water in the product because essentially what we want either the fungicide or the pest control or even your iron application we want that product to get watered in um, down into the root system so that the plant can actually uptake the micronutrient okay if you've got multiple products inside your tank sprayer or your pump sprayer water it in um, but with the iron application i'm going to go ahead and leave it on the plant or the grass for an hour and then I'm gonna go ahead and cycle my irrigation, guys. That's it, that's all I got for you today. I told you I was gonna be doing this corrective issue. This is August, fix those issues now, guys.